Good morning, good morning from the ranch. Guys, we are having an awesome breakfast this morning. We are cooking smoked jowl. And it is delicious, y'all. Fantastic, rich, one of my favorite things to cook. And it's a nice rainy day, so why not have a nice breakfast? And uh, this is from the cheek of a hog. It is uh, better than bacon, in my opinion. Uh, it's one of my favorite cuts on the pig is the jowl. Um, in Italy, or it, Italians call it guanciale. Uh, it's very, very rich, very delicious. Delicious. It renders down, and these are just the softest. It's so softer than bacon. It's better than bacon, and it has a better texture. So, very, very delightful treat. This is what it looks like when it's done. And it's just so soft and so succulent in your mouth. So this is from our Gloucestershire Old Spot Hogs that we raise right here on our farm. And you can get it sliced or whole. There is a recipe that you can make, that the Italians make. And it's called carbonara, carbonara, if I'm saying that right. And I have made that many times. It's with noodles, eggs, egg yolks. And it makes it creamy and then you mix in... Um, fried jowl and or guanciale you could say so anyways it's a very very delicious meal guys if you've never had jowl I highly recommend it it is very rich and you know you can't eat a lot of it but we I, I do leave it in the fridge and we just snack on it when we're wanting a snack here on the farm which you get hungry and you want a snack and you need some energy it's a whole lot better you know yeah it's fatty it's greasy, but it's a whole lot better than you eating a Snickers, okay? This gives real energy here. And a lot of that fat renders off, so a lot of it's left in the pan. So you will find this so delicious. Put this on some mayo, on some bread, with some tomato. You'll have yourself the best BLT you ever had in your life. And if you think bacon's good, wait till you try this. Look, hear that crunch? Oh, it just melts in your mouth, guys. It's the best, okay? So get you some, get you some jowl, raise you some hogs, and you will fall in love with guanciale, or smoked jowl. Coming at you live from the ranch, having a great breakfast. I'm gonna have some sunny side eggs coming up next over here. And we're gonna have a beautiful day, guys. So stay tuned, we got more videos coming. And we are just having a good time here and enjoying the homestead life, you know? Farming, gardening, raising your own food, raising your own pigs. We also have a big event coming up in September, September the 6th. Do not miss this. It'll be in Marshfield, Missouri. We'll be taking one of our hogs. Um, the meat smith, Brandon, will be uh, demonstrating on one of our pigs at the Homesteading Expo. Joe Salatin. Lots of other people will be there. Don't miss out on that, guys. It's going to be a great thing. We're going to be showing up with our hog. They're going to be killing it on the trailer. And they're going to be scalding, scraping, teaching you how to cure your own bacon, make prosciutto, all that stuff. And we're just so blessed to be involved with that. And you will see us there with our pigs. So, did this look amazing, guys? Don't miss out on that if you're in the area. If you're not in the area, get there. Make a way. And you will be learning a lot. We all will be learning a lot from each other. Because that's what homesteading is about. Learning from each other. Okay, guys? We, uh... All this... People that think they are in a competition... It's not homesteading. We work together. You know? We all learn from one another. And... It should be fun and enjoyable. See, once you get to the end of the package... Gets a little pooly in there, but that's okay. We're almost done. Um, you want to talk about some amazing lard you get back. When this cools down, save your grease. Save your grease. We put it in the refrigerator. We put it over our dog's food every now and then. or Just an awesome treat for your animals. Or seasoning your pans, etc., etc. So anyways, we're going to enjoy this. Look. This is just a delight. Now you guys are going to go to the store looking for J. 
huge owl. But the problem is, I don't, I mean, I steer clear from meat from the store. If you're going to buy this, go to a farmer's market, buy from your local farmers. Let's stop buying from the store, please. Let's, let's stop doing that. Unless you have to. But you, there's farmer's markets all over the place. So guys, go to the local farmer's market if you can't raise your own hogs. But I do suggest if you just got a little room in your backyard, you can raise your own pigs. You can raise your own food. You don't need a massive farm to grow out a couple pigs and fill your freezer. So keep that in mind. You know, you don't need a lot of room. You know, you need a little 30 by 30, 40 by 50, or 60 by 60 pen. You know, I do like seeing them roam in the woods and stuff, but if you're just feeding them out, that's all you need. So plant on, put you a basil plant on your porch, grow you a pig in the backyard, and just start, you know. If you're new to homesteading, just jump in and start. Get advice from those that have been doing it for a little while. Be careful of some advice. Not all good advice is good advice. So watch who you listen to. So this is just a good morning event, rambling on about homesteading things here at the ranch. We love you guys. Thanks for joining us for breakfast. It's going to be delicious. Would you guys bite into that? Mm, mm, mm. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mwah. Mwah. All right, y'all. I'm going to finish this up. We're going to get some sunny side eggs up. Got to have some nice sunny eggs. Oh, yes. You can't forget about the beautiful sunny eggs. I like my yolks just like that. Nice and runny. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. So let's plate these babies up. I dip my little jowl right in the yolk. And you want to talk about delicious. Yum. Get you an egg. Get you a piece of jowl. Dip it right in the yolk. Can't forget hot sauce on your eggs, guys. This is my favorite hot sauce right here. El Yakito Chili Habanero. <laughs> Probably didn't say that right. El Yakuteco. How you say it, Miranda? El Yakuteco. Okay, it's delicious. Coming at you live from the ranch breakfast, guys, and then we got to go work, don't we, Miranda? See you guys. Enjoy your breakfast.